Hey everybody, Three Drinks Down, I'm Nate. I'm James. And today, we've got part six of the Buffalo Trace Batch versus Barrel Proof. E.H. Taylor, baby! E.H. Taylor. Today we're super excited to bring you an E.H. Taylor battle between small batch and single barrel for store pick from Kenny's Liquor. Now, the cool thing about the E.H. Taylor line is that it's all bottled and bond and at 100 proof, so pretty interesting. Um, these two in particular, we know to be at least rumored anyways for small batch around seven years. And then the, the store pick has to be a minimum of nine years, but it could be longer. It's not age dated for either. So with that discrepancy of a, at least a couple of years, we still know that this line is gonna be close enough that we feel okay doing both. Yeah, we didn't make the rules. Buffalo Trace made the rules, but we're still following our framework here is what we want to stress to you guys. So what we would like to stress to you guys also before we go any further is if you would please like the video, leave us some comments and subscribe. Thank you. Appreciate it. So let's get into the nosing of E.H. Taylor Small Batch. Don't forget to swirl. Please and thank you. Please swirl responsibly. Beautiful. I've seen people like want to barrel roll the whole thing to make sure they get it coated. Mm. I don't know. You guys barrel roll at home? Like Star Fox? Star Fox, do a barrel roll. Nothing? He's got his uh, wrestling references and I have Nintendo 64 game references. You ever heard of Star Fox? Oh my goodness. All right. Cheers. Wow, he's drinking I already. Didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, <laughs> look, look, not gone, not gone. <laughs> He's just going for it. I lost it. Let's get into the nose. Let's do it. Oh my. I didn't take a full draw, it's just. This is a big departure from maybe one that we just did in this video series. Yeah, well. Uh, you, know, you know, this one has a little better oak. Yeah. There's not, still a lot there, but it's not funky. I almost get like a seasoned oak, actually. First time uh, getting that in quite a while. I don't know if it's seasoned oak or if it's some other component of the sweetness and or some other flavor coming through, but I'll go with you on that. Say that it's not just a regular, here's oak. You've all smelled oak before. Right. It's just a different kind of quality of oak, I guess, um, than what I'm used to. Not a bad thing. There's a little sharpness on the nose too. Um, you know, at 100 proof, I wouldn't expect it necessarily, but it's enough. It's enough to let you know. I feel like a custardy sweetness. Interesting. I guess that means like a deep, like vanilla. French vanilla. Yes. Yeah. Custardy French vanilla. There is like a slight medicinal quality of this that I don't love. Don't I'm ready know. to get to the taste because I feel like I'm going to pull a slight fruit off this too or something. Oh, there's definitely a fruit characteristic. But I don't can't pin it down. I, if I had to say, I'd say like citrus rind. I always go to that but orangey citrus rind. I don't rind know. Too. It feels that, but I also feel like it could be a bright red fruit. Yeah, one or the other. Oh, hey, cheers, guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Oh, wait. Yeah, cheers me. Oh, dude. Seasoned oak. I'm glad I took my reservations on that fruit. Yeah, there's no fruit here. Yeah. Uh, seasoned oak for sure for me. Seasoned oak, vanilla. I do still detect a slight hint of red fruit, but nothing crazy. This is nice. Soft. It's very enjoyable. Coats the palate very well. It does for a hundred proofer, seven year. It's nice. One thing I might dig it on a little bit is finish, but not terribly. It's, it's still a decent, um, but I'll call it barely a medium finish. I want to say strawberry cheesecake, but it's nowhere near as sweet as a cheesecake. I want to say that strawberry custard. Sure. That's the biggest thing I'm taking away from this is it's not sweet. It's got a sweetness. It's just not really sweet. The one thing I think that really stands out about this is that it's pretty balanced um, between the sweetness and the tannins of the oak. Um, and it's not pulling you in one direction too far, which is nice. I, you know, you said it really well. Thanks. All right, so now we're on to Kenny's pick, the uh, barrel pick here. Let's go to the nose, but be sure to swirl and not try to taste when you're smelling. <laughs> yeah, Nate. <laughs> Who are you saying that to? I didn't do that. Check the video. Throw the red flag like the commercial. Challenge. Oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all saw it. Ready. Oh, 
Okay. Hello. A lot sweeter. Hello. There's that red fruit amplified. Still going strawberry, but I could make a case for a... Here's you. I could make a case for a raspberry, but just not a really tart one. Oh, yeah. Blackberry? No. I would say dark fruit if I say blackberry. Blackberry? Yeah. You're getting blackberry. <laughs> You're just not going to talk me into it. The one thing that I, I really think I'm getting off this comparatively to the other one was the other one was seasoned oak. You know, this is back to like baking spice. You get like um, cinnamon, allspice, maybe a little, maybe a little clove, maybe. But the beautiful thing for me is it's not young oak. Nope. You can tell it's nine. The nine years is setting its nice sights in. Yeah, it's a little, little dusty. Yeah, I didn't want to say dusty, but you did. So, hey, all right. It's a little musty, dusty, old. I don't know. It's not like super old. It's you can tell it's not young is all I'm going to commit sure. to. But James apparently wants to, you know. It's not like an old dusty. That's not what I'm saying. Well, like, you just did. It's, it's a little it's, musty it's dusty. It smells musty. Yeah, let's replay that back. It's a little musty dusty. It's a little dusty <laughs> musty. <laughs> to the tasting. Oh my God, this is fucking beautiful. There's that spice. Ooh, finishes longer. Still going. Delicious. Softer, more rounded, sweeter. I don't want to agree with blackberry. <sighs> blackberry! But I could put it in the mix. <laughs> um. Yeah, so the craziest it's part- it's not raspberry. Sorry. No, it's not raspberry. But the craziest part about this is like, it's not sweet enough to be desserty. So you can't put it in like a, Oh, blackberries and cream sort of vibe with some, no. s for some stuff. But it's sweet enough to carry that actual fruit sweetness. Cause like berries really aren't that sweet. No, it's the front of the tongue sweetness. It just, it, it dances on front of your tongue for a second. It's man. still there a little later actually. To be honest. Yeah, it's still here. Um, it's still here. It's good, man. That the reason, so the back of the palate on second sip, which you haven't said sec second sip yet, so I apologize. Definitely hits you with the spice. The, the spice? nine-year Florida attic spice. <laughs> Gotta love that nine-year Florida attic spice. Yeah. That's why I think what we're getting off that is actually spice. Oh. That second sip was very different. Coated. It coated differently. It felt different, didn't it? The mid palate was super different. Yeah. I got like a twang of, I don't know. Spice. No, the spice was layer. Oh, you're talking. Okay, I see what you're saying. Interesting. Still very enjoyable. Not as sweet the second time. What if it was, it might just be honestly that contrast between the small batch not sweetness versus this having just enough more sweetness to pull you in. I think that's what it might be because it's really not sweet. You know what one subtle difference is? This has a slight astringency to it. Slight. Yeah, um, from, the so oak, from the oak for yeah. sure. And I think that's a determining factor here for me on the mouthfeel overall with that accountability in that mouthfeel. So oh, mouthfeel accountability is super all about important. That. All about the mouthfeel accountability. Yeah. Also, you know, even it's even though it's nine years, only one year off from um, I don't know, a rare eagle of some sort, it's still not nearly as tannic and dry. Watching out for that eagle. <laughs> it's fucking diving. <laughs> it's like that eagle's <laughs> pissed at you right now. So I have some ideas in my head where this is going. I think. I need to A B a little about you. Let's do it. Let's go. A in my left hand is the small batch. Small batch. In my right hand, I have the store pick single barrel. Single barrel. All right. A. B. Whoa. Caramel. Yeah. Big caramel. <laughs> yeah. Humongous Hello. caramel. Where did that Holy come from? Holy crap. Dude, that smells great. Let's go. Great job. Oh my gosh. Caramel for those who prefer to say it that way. Ah, there's the wood though. It comes back quickly. Yep. There's the wood. Okay. Still really enjoyable. Oh my. What? This one. Oh, whoa. This one says I'm not what I used to be at okay. all. These have both changed significantly in a very small amount of time. So this is really close. Um, they're both wildly different. We got to taste these. I didn't expect this. I honestly, this is, we had this happen in one of the early rounds. Yeah. Where the nose is turned around a little bit on you and it kind of threw you in. We've skipped some tasting. See, I got to taste again. You taste a small batch first or you want to come single barrel? Small batch. Okay. Yeah. Where did the seasoned wood go? It's yeah. gone. That's uh, it's mystery. It's also perceivably sweeter. 
Am I wrong? Not vastly, but better. Mouth feels the same. Yeah. Um, what the hell? Improved from the first taste. Agreed. I, and that's what I'll say. I don't know how much. All right, so going into single barrel. Dude, what is going on? Why do we regress? What the hell is happening? I thought these were further apart and now it's going to be a tough choice. What? Dude, no way. This is this is insane. It's going to be a tough choice. Like, I, I, I did not expect that. Even the other time earlier in the earlier episodes, uh, was it Special Reserve? Yeah. Where we had it that kind of came back together and right. maybe influenced. It was not this. Dude, these are like, they are they were one thing and now they are both, not just one of them, they are both completely different. To me, they both regressed to almost the mean and it's going to be very hard. I, I think I just get a lot more spice and dryness out of this one. A lot more of that dusty, musty thing. Yeah. And the other one let go of some of that. So right. Like, it, it became a little bit more perceivably so sweeter. Small batch let go of it, and the single barrel's like, let me take some of that. I don't yeah. know. Wow. So, Nate, this seems really difficult. Where are you at with this? Uh, if you'd asked me five minutes ago before the AB, it was a near landslide, not to a landslide for the single barrel. Agreed. These things regressed opposite directions. I don't know if there's some influence of one over the other. Certainly could be. We did take some ample breaks for water and kill our palates and break. It's extremely close and closer than I thought it was going to be. I am going to still give the benefit of the doubt to the single barrel. Here's why. It's regression still put it in a place where it was a very soft product. It's a product that had still some sweetness, although the first tastes were much sweeter. And I like the older oak characters a little better than the small batch small batch is still very 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 good where are you at this was by far the hardest one out of all of them so far and it has it's not even close um like nate said land basically a landslide win for the single barrel early on and wow uh <clears throat> did i really struggle with this getting to the finish line here i feel like the qualities that I enjoyed about the single barrel, if they if they remain closer to that most of the time, I'm gonna have to give it to that. But it's really close, really close. You might just you might just be catching me on the day. You know what I mean? I I, <laughs> I could see a case for that. I really could. So did we get an answer in there, or did we not get an answer? I there? guess because you gave it gave it to single, and I. I guess I gave you don't it a have single. To. Don't let me influence you. No, no, you're not. You're not, All honestly. Right. Um, I took another sip and kind of figured it out. But gotcha. Yeah. I, That's wild. I did not expect it to come together like that. I guess it's a point for single barrel. So that makes us three. We're three. We're freaking tied. This one almost went the other way and it would have tipped the scales back to batch. And I, I'll be honest, I think it's your, you, to, for you to say any given day, 100% there. Um, also, every palette's different, so. Um. Uh, well, real quick, I wanna comment on that. If this is actually the case, obviously every store pick is different, but like you have a $40 product. Right. Right? Versus uh, probably closer to $100. There's depending zero, on the if store you can pick. get it for $100. Yeah, well, you usually can't, and usually it's way more, especially the store picks, which are like 300 bucks for secondary. Or you're waiting in line for six to eight hours right. to get one. Wah, buh, 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 buh. <laughs> Yeah, when you take economics in the factor, it starts to really kind of pull that even closer together for me. Right. Um, but the reality is we still don't see small batches all the time down here either. No. So it's like... They are $40 when we see them, but we don't see them. Right. So, so I was a near single barrel pick. Nate was also a near single barrel pick. And this has been a battle for you. I'm Colonel Taylor. It's Taylor. I win either way. So, yeah. 